guys, what's up, what's going on? It's Amber Higgins coming at you live from Charleston, South Carolina. As you guys are hopping on, say hi, say hello. Let me know in the comments below where you guys are watching from. So I just had this thought that ran into my mind literally like two seconds ago and I was like, I'm gonna go live because this one tip literally changed the game for me in terms of my confidence. And so if you guys are looking to grow your confidence, you're gonna want to continue to watch this as one fire tip and I'm telling you it's going to change your life. So as you guys are hopping on, say hi, say hello. Uh, don't forget to tap that share button, share the video for your channel to win my weekly prize pack giveaway um also you have no idea who this video could impact by just simply sharing this to your page so tap that little arrow button comment share it in the comments below when you are done um hey sherelle hey joan hey daniel hey carrie hey harley hey Bree. say hi say hello what's up live laugh love listen if your name is not in your handle drop your name in the comments below so i can say hi to you okay we're live on facebook and we're live on instagram i'm gonna try to go live more on instagram too so you guys if you're not following me on instagram you should my name over there is the amber higgins so let's get right into this so just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, uh, three years ago, I was working as a medical assistant, working two full-time jobs. I was depressed, I was overweight, um, and I was just quite frankly, quite frankly, miserable in my life. And so I came across exogenous ketones. You guys know this part of my story, which by the way, if you guys are new to watching me, you don't know this. So you guys can drop new in the comments below so I can say hello to you. Um, anyways, I came across ketones. I love them. They helped me lose 30 pounds of fat in three months, which helped to obviously grow my confidence, right? Um, so there's only so much that fat loss can do in terms of your confidence. Like it's something that you have to actually work on yourself. Um, but I was watching, I was doing personal development, personal development. You guys know, I listen to podcasts. Hey, Samantha, what's up, baby? Um, I listen to podcasts. I read books. Like, I'm just constantly trying to grow my mind and evolve. Um, a lot of people, what they do is they graduate high school or maybe sometimes drop out of high school and they don't pick up a book or, like, really, like make an effort to grow in any way, shape, or form. And so that is why most people stay stagnant in their lives. Um, and so that's not what we're here to talk about today, but what the hell? I just seen something on my floor. What is that? Um, anyways, I just got squirrel brain distracted. Anybody else get super distracted very easily? You guys can drop a yes in the comments below. Um, so if you're watching this and you're looking to grow your confidence, you guys can drop a heart in the comments below as well. Um, I really love when you guys engage with me. It really just makes this entire like process of going live a lot funner. So y'all engage with me, say hi. So one thing that I listened to, I don't even remember where I heard it from, who I heard it from. So I can't even give credit where credit is due, but all I know is that it changed my entire life. So if you feel, if you're the type of person that like maybe walks into a room and you feel um, like very uncomfortable, you guys can drop a yes in the comments below. I love the squirrels in the comments. I love that. Ashley is a squirrely, squirrely girly like me. I love it. Hey Patty. Hey Tracy. Hey Michelle. So if you feel comfortable when you walk into a room of people, drop a one. Or maybe you're the type of person that when you walk into a room, you're so uncomfortable that you just like feel like you have to be on your phone. Like, is that you? If that's you, drop a yes in the comments below. Okay, this used to be me. All right, this used to be me. Um, hi, Angela. Hey, Angie. Hey, uh, hey Sammy. Hey, Bree. Um, so this used to be me. And so I'm going to give you one tip and it's going to be, it's going to be uncomfortable at first. Okay. Like growing is not comfortable. All right. I think a lot of you guys are like stalling your growth because you, you think that it's supposed to feel good. You're supposed to like be comfortable in like this, this like growing season. No, growing is extremely uncomfortable. And so you just have to, you just have to know that from the very beginning. So one thing that I did that literally shifted my entire level of confidence is I never walk into a room on my phone. Like what I want you to do is the next time you walk into any type of room, whether it be a restaurant, whether it be a store, whether it be somebody's house, whether it be, I don't know where you're walking into your kids daycare. Who here is a parent? If you're a parent, drop a me in the comments below. Let me know how many children you have. I love kids. I don't have any of my own, but I do have nieces and nephews and I love them. Um, but what I want you to do is the next time you walk into any room, I want you to put your phone away, completely away. And I want you to walk in with your shoulders back and I want you to be observant of the room. Now, this is going to be very uncomfortable for the first, like probably five or 10 times that you do it. I'm not even about to lie to you. Okay. But once you do it enough and you get uncomfortable and you start doing that, I'm telling you, you're going to start walking into rooms like you own the shit. And I don't mean that in like an arrogant way or like a, like a, any, any type of way other than you are literally just confident in your, in yourself and in your ability to walk into a room full of people and stop giving a shit about what people think of you. Okay, I promise you people are more self-absorbed with themselves. They're too worried about how they look. They don't care about how you look. They don't care what your bag looks like. They don't care what you're wearing, okay? Now, they're probably looking at you, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. 
Nobody's opinion of you matters. And once you release that, I'm telling you, this exercise is going to help you do this. So if you are committed to the next time you walk into a room, you're going to put your phone away. You are going to put your shoulders back. You're going to have your head up and you're going to look and observe around the room and you're going to walk to where you need to walk to. You guys can drop, uh, drop a, drop a two in the comments below if you're, if you're willing to do this with me. Cause I promise you, if you do this over and over and over and you practice this over and over, you, you cannot tell me after five or 10 times that your confidence is not growing. Okay. And I know it sounds simple. But I promise you, like, you walking in and, like, because I know you're not looking at anything on your phone. Okay? We already know this. Everybody knows this. When you're walking to, into a room of people and you're on your phone, everybody knows it's an anxious thing that you do. You're probably checking the freaking weather. Am I right or am I right? Okay? So the next time you go to the gym, do not be on your phone. The next time you go to a restaurant, get off of your phone. The next time you walk into wherever you're walking into, Promise me, drop a two in the comments below. I literally only saw three twos. This is crazy. This is crazy. Do you want to grow your confidence? Yes or no? <laughs> like, I love you very much, but you have, you have to start doing these little tiny things. And I know it sounds so simple and it sounds so easy. And it is easy, but it's uncomfortable. But once you get your, uh, yourself out there and you stop living inside of this comfort bubble, you're going to be so... You're going to be so like shocked at how much you grow by doing these little tiny things. So anyways, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I was just thinking about this and I felt like I needed to come live and share this with you because literally I started doing this probably, probably two years ago. And, uh, the way that it, that the way that it, um, changed my level of confidence is just astronomical. So if you're going to do that, I can't wait to watch you just shine and glow. Uh, but I love you guys. Make sure you guys share this video. Uh, sharing helps me out a ton. It's a great way to support me for free. It also is a great way to, uh, for me to help more people. So, and also I do a giveaway, so you might win some free shit. You can support me for free and it's a great way for me to reach more people. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. If you share the video, make sure you guys tap, sh uh, comment, share it in the comments below so that I can thank you. Um, Kelly says you're such an inspiration. Kelly, I love that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, if you're not already following me, tap that little follow, follow button. Wow. <laughs> I'm like stuttering real bad. Um, if you're on Facebook, tap, tap the three dots, click follow and see first. Um, anyways, I'm going to go see my granny. My granny does um, a dinner every Saturday uh, for our family. It's just a great way for our family to get together um, and connect, whatever. I'm going to go surprise her and help her cook dinner. So I'm excited. Y'all stay tuned to my stories. If you don't already watch my stories, you should. Okay. If you watch my stories, drop stories in the comments below. Um, and if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, drop end, E-N-D, so I know who my true supporters are. You guys know I love you. I appreciate you. Um, none of this would be possible without you. And so I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for being supportive of me, for watching me, for liking my videos, for commenting. Like it helps me out so much more than you, uh, more than you know. So Hope y'all have a good rest of your weekend, um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all.